Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 59 of uh, Mountain Blade Warband, and in the course of our doing our free roam, we got a message, and this is a message saying, a courier with a marriage offer for Farouk from Kasire has arrived. So Farouk is our youngest brother, right? And then, so let's check on who Cassie Ray is. Uh, so we'll look for a female. Uh, it's got to be not married. Oh, Cassie Ray of Petros, right? So Petros, so she's Ca so Cassie Ray is a member of the Petros, a noble family of the empire that is backing Rage. Oh, Rage is our mother-in-law in the Civil War. She has the reputation of being thoroughly conventional. So our current relationship with the Southern Empire is... No. In the Civil War... She, okay. So, but the problem is she has only riding and... And steward. So she will be a... You know, it's a good candidate for our uh, brother in the sense that uh, she is of the Western culture or the Empire culture, rather. So that means there are a lot more Empire uh, town castles. Therefore, it makes sense to for us to have our relatives, the Batanians. We, our family is Batanian, and our wives would be, let's say... Uh, Western uh, or the Empire culture, so we can put her as a uh, a governor for those. So the leader of the Petros is also Rage, Rage, our mother-in-law, who is also the it says here uh, is this the southern third of the Empire is ruled by Rage, widow of the murdered emperor. So she is actually a um, a member of the Petros, at the same time, she is uh, from the royal family, apparently. Uh, what's this? Uh, oh, that's a castle. Oh, she controls Chaos Castle, Onira, and Lycaron. So, two towns. So, the current at war. So, uh, Cas so Cassiere is actually a good match. You know, she doesn't have that much uh, these. You know, I think the steward would be good because uh, we're going to put her as a in the future as a uh, governor okay I think let us accept this a career with a marriage offer for Farouk from Castro see our problem is I think given our what do you call, I mean our clan status we're still a clan tier three and we're I'm working hard to to bump this up to tier four so currently we are at 619 and we need 900 renown to get to tier 4 and that is problematic so um and we apparently cannot cannot have him uh join our party uh because it says here that once we hit clan tier 4 then we can have an additional clan party which is here right our clan party here so currently yeah and I think uh, as the wife of Farouk, uh, she will also automatically be included, maybe. It's like Niasen, uh, Bisag followed Niasen, and Irop followed us. So that is, so additional clan party will be added. Uh, companion, so we can get another companion. And the party size of every party in the clan would be plus 15. And then we have another plus uh, workshop. So that means will be four plus three. Because if we look at uh, others, it says we have, we can, we our current, so it's three plus one then, I, apparently three plus one. So that means, yeah, it is, uh, it is important for us to actually level our renown. So, in, in that regard, it makes sense for us to look at our perks. So part of our perks under the charm, one of the things we took was that characters in, uh, oh no, no, not that one. Uh, this one, I think. 
no, I, or is it the next one? Increase loyalty per day, or is it this one? See, this one and the next one, we have to take this one so that renowned gain from battles are increased by 30%. And so, our personal uh, relationship with NPCs increase 100%. So, that means the more we talk with people and, I, and around every time we go around giving gifts to everybody we meet, uh, will improve improve our charm. So once we get here, this will now help our renown. Can you imagine by 30%? So if we're making like a, a bandit hideout or something, once we take it over, we kind of, uh, what do you call this? Um, we get like three renown. So if we get 30%, it's like we get four renown rather than three renown. So that's a be better way of improving our stuff. Okay, so if we open this, A courier arrives from Rage, head of the Petros. Yeah. She proposes that her kinswoman, Kasre, marry Farouk from your clan. Yes, let's accept this. On the second day of summer, Kasre married Farouk. So we will be bringing another person into our party. Oh, Farouk is still too young? <laughs> I think it's uh, late teens, maybe, or mid teens. Uh, Cassare is 20 years old, and I look forward to babies being made here so that if she, uh, if she can give birth to three babies, boy, then Ira has given two. Uh, uh, Niacence has given three. B best right, B right, right, has given three, so we we will have like nine if we can get all of them uh, to be producing. Okay, carried Farouk. So what do we do next? Um, Farouk uh, married. Okay, now where can we find her? Okay, let us check where her current location is. And she is uh, at Vostrum today. Now, where is Vostrum? Uh, huh. You know what? Where is Vostrum? I think she's the Southern Empire. Yeah. Oh, all the way back down here. Okay. 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 Uh huh. Okay. Let's check on this town. Maybe they might have a uh, quest for us to take out that bandit hideout over here. Uh, let's see if they have one. Deliver her. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. And then, yeah, who is this guy? Caravan. Okay, so if we meet with people. So, Vostrum. Where's Vostrum? Okay, let's. Uh, you know what? Let's come to Amitatis. Just to be sure that she is still at. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Let's come over here. Uh, because we need to check into a town, and that would be an easy way to confirm that uh, the Cassare is still at Vostrum. Mm. Uh, okay. Oh, that is a caravan ambush. So, I think every person we bump into, we should make a point of giving them a, uh, you know, a gift. <laughs> so that it will improve our charm. Wow, okay. Uh, oh, they have, okay, let's see if we still have any swords. So all of these crafted swords, okay. Uh, yeah, we need to reserve a couple. Okay, so that once we bump into these guys, 
And then let's check if Cassere is still there. She's still last seen at Vostrum. Okay. Uh, where is Vostrum? Wow, she is quite a ways away. Okay. Uh, let's just head straight. Let's come down to Zionica. Since they're married, the earlier we can get them together, the better we are, right? Um, hmm. I wonder what holding means because uh, when they're holding, so they, they're not traveling with us. So that means they are staying hopefully in Maranath. Right? If they're staying in Mar Maranath, then... Uh, then the possibility of uh, babies happening is high because they're in town resting right they're not like us traveling all over the map Unless you want trouble. Yeah, you're only ten guys. Come on. You're no threat. Oh, this guy is from I think he is from Sturgia. Uh don't know. Don't know. We'll we'll give him stuff so that uh we're making friends. The more friends we have, the better off we are. Yours is not a face I know. What? Oh, we cannot? So that means, uh, what, he hates our guts or something? That's interesting. You know what? Who are these guys? Uh, but they're the same party from this guy. Uh, Faction Skolder Brodka. Okay, let's see what the Skolder Brodka is. Clans. Skolder Brodka. Wow, there are so many. Okay, uh, how big are the. Hmm. Very poor. Oh, that was the guy we talked to, right? Uh, home is Daunistica. Uh, the Skolder Brodka or Shield Brothers are a mercenary company for war of. who take fighting and training very seriously. They are primarily Nordic but do allow recruits from other cultures as long as an already serving shield brother will vouch for them the rules are almost monastic no women in their encampment and no amusements and no brother is allowed to spend the night outside without permission in combat they fight with spear and axe in a nordic style you know what maybe we can pick on these guys this is varag's party yeah that is the head honcho and Man, he just insulted us. You know, what if we take this guy out and then we take him out? Like, hold on, uh, hold on. Like this guy, and then we look at what is his composition. He's got 61 infantry, 14 range, and 7 cavalry. How about this guy? Uh, 28 cavalry. 21 range I think if yeah I think we can use them to kind of improve our renown by beating on them and letting them go uh, because right now yeah if we let's check on these guys again so they are they are not 
they are not tied to any faction. So if we quarrel with them, they're the only people we 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 fight, right? They are. It's not like. You know they're gonna drag in a huge uh, like a Western faction or a uh, no, Western Empire, and and people like that. So, okay, what what do they have? You know that's escort again mission. No, we're not gonna do escort. Rival gang. Trade. No, we don't have that. We don't have that many. We don't have that much uh, swords. To get uh, to uh, to trade with, okay. Let's uh, boss room, right? Yeah, yeah. If we just make war on the minor clans. That will up our our re renown, I think. So that's something we can do instead of taking on uh, one of those big factions. We attack them, we let them go. We attack them, we let them go, and pick on the small clans, mercenary group groups. Yeah, I think we'll try that. I have not tried that yet, so oh, this one might require. Uh, manpower or but we don't have any uh, what do you call it yeah we don't have any we don't have any prisoners Okay, if we go to the uh, tavern district, is that where she is? No, she's not there. Uh, go to the keep. Oh, yeah, she's there. Okay. Uh, who's this person? Justinia, a noble of the Southern Empire, governor of Vostrum, and this is her daughter, I think. Uh, take hero to party. Cool. Okay. Um, now, if we check on our party, no, not here. Uh, check on our party. No, we have Farouk. Well, we have Bisag, Niasan, Farouk. Where is? His? Oh, Cassia. Oh, okay. We cannot move her up. Oh, she is in our party, so she is not staying in in town. Okay, so that means we need to go into a town. So we need to do some smithing now. <laughs> okay, so that uh, they will have an opportunity to to romance each other. Okay. Uh huh. And then let's say if there are any throwing knives yet. Yeah. Wow, that's just a lot. Okay. Huh. Okay. Um Do we have anything to sell? We have three. One, two, three. We'll keep. We'll hold on to one so that we can give it away when we. Ah, uh, you know, let's just sell it. And then you know what? Let us come into the smithy here. And let's see if we can craft more items. Yeah, we have a ton of stuff, and now that she's in our party, she can also be crafting, as melting for us. Cool. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is a family uh, trade. I mean, <laughs> we are always refining, forging. So, Casarea, 
Welcome to the family. Casarea, this is. So these can refine stuff. Okay, uh, now we go through melt smelting. Okay, wow, this is 500 plus. Oh, she is the level. Uh, yeah, she she got three, le uh, four levels immediately. That's pretty good. Look at our party. It's huge. Okay, let's forge some swords. Yeah, we need some trade goods. Okay, uh, yeah, this town is, has a lot of cash. So uh, we're going to... We're going to relieve them of some of it. Wow, they have a ton of cash. A lot of cash. We could not exhaust it. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Wait here for half a day. So can we make more? Yep, we can make more. Okay. Um, whoa. What did I do? Okay. Um, so all of them will be into smelting. <laughs> and yeah, we should be able to uh you know, every time we do this, I think we had opportunities like uh, our main avatar was able to uh, level up just uh, doing forging and stuff like this. Bisag also was, I think we, yeah, I, we've seen her level up too. No, not. Okay, now to crafting, uh, forging. No, 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 wrong, 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 wrong. Ouch, okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting that it does not uh, happen automatically. I mean, that is a minor oversight on the part of uh, the developers. Not a big deal, but uh, yeah, it just causes us to sometimes miss that thing. Okay, let's go check on trade. They should have built up some more cash. Yes, look at those. Look, look at that cash. Ooh. We love the cash these guys have. We are at eight and a half million bucks. Okay, uh, I hope there is no glitch because I have no idea if there is a cap on to the amount of money we can have in the game.
Belia of the Zen. Wow, Mitara is doing well. She has gained a uh, le one point in leadership. You know what? Maybe we should send more of our people out there doing these things. Uh, because, yeah, they develop much faster. Uh... What's this? No, okay, this one... Okay, that's done. Okay, so we have... Uh, Farouk has a wife now, so... Our clan is really expanding. Anyway, I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. Bye.